Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in again, hope you're all doing good. And you know what, you really are a lovely bunch and thank you so much for all the lovely comments. So your response to my last vlog was just, I don't know, just super positive, really heartwarming and I'll get the cheese out of the way very quickly, thank you so much, you're really nice and you all rock. So there is a gravel race in a couple of weeks, really looking forward to that. And it just got me thinking about bike racing in general. There's a gravel race in a couple of weeks. I'm doing Mega Avalanche at the end of June. There's like a track bike crit at Hearn Hill. And, and I've got a bunch of nice road bikes. And essentially, this is the thing, right? So I'm super lucky. I've got a lot of awesome bikes. There's no denying that. And I feel like I should be racing them. You know, if you're going to own them, why not race them? Especially if you're doing a YouTube channel, you know? It kind of just makes for more exciting content, right? So events for me are like a way that I set goals and it's something that I use to plan all my training and that sort of stuff, training. I say that loosely. At the moment, I just copy Amy's training and I don't want to coach. I'm going to be honest. I want to do things my way. I like doing it my way and it might not be the most efficient, but I'm doing it because I enjoy it, not because I want to be a pro. And, and that for me is really important. That's the same with the gym. I've thought about getting a PT. I've thought about talking to someone about diet, but the reality is I like doing it. I like doing it my way. And yes, I could be more efficient with my time and I probably could get faster, but I don't really care. Like as long as I enjoy riding and I enjoy going to the gym, that's what's important to me. And I can still go and race, you know, and obviously I go to a race and I might not do as well as I could, but I had fun in the build up. I'm currently sitting here having an argument with my camera because it auto adjusts for the different light in this room. And, and look, look, it's going, it's going again. And it's just driving me nuts. So I'm going to stop arguing with my camera <laughs> because it's not doing what I want. And we're going to go for a ride and we're going to have a bit more of a chat and yeah. I'll show you some nice scenery. And we're taking the stayer out. The brakes are all fixed, so that's super good. It was just a really quick fix. All I needed to do was to top some fluid up, so I put the like the funnel thing in there, and then squirted some fluid through, and both of them are nice. It actually feels really mint. It's the first time I've set up disc brakes. I'm dead proud of myself, I'm gonna be honest. Anyway, let's take this bike out for a little ride, and we'll have a bit of a chat. Let's go. I've been having so much fun for the past hour. I haven't even stopped to talk to you guys. Normally I'm quite chatty on rides. I wanted to have a bit of a smashy ride, so that's one reason I wasn't gonna talk so much. And number two, I didn't realize the time. I've been smashing around for an hour, and honestly, it's just been so much fun. And this bike is a rocket. I blooming love it. That's not what I was gonna to talk to you about today, but just wanted you guys to know. Do you wanna have a look at it? Let me show you. so nice like i love it i love the altegra i love like oh i love everything about this bike like it's just so nice to ride i'll be honest right i don't mind crashing my gravel bike like riding on gravel like rocks ping up and it's inevitable that you're going to scratch your bike right the same with mountain biking but with road cycling especially if you're racing crits when you crash that really writes off parts of your bike you know and i don't know if i'm ready to race a crit on like i know it's a crit frame and i know it's stupid not racing crits on a crit frame but some bikes just too nice to race crits on this isn't me making excuses excuses up not to race like I could totally ride the Olio other races I'm totally fine with crashing bikes in I mean I crashed my bike in battle on the beach and it scratched and that happens you know gonna do some races you guys know I'm gonna do some races do feel like I should do a fixed gear crit again you know it's been a while since I did one and there is one in Herne Hill and I am in London at the time there is one in Herne Hill I'm so <laughs> out of practice so it will be fun you know and you can film in fixed gear crit races so British cycling are a bit funny about filming in crits I saw Alec Briggs did actually film recently in the tour series so fingers crossed it changes because you know like footage of racing and that it's not going to make people ride like idiots it's just going to make more people want to race right that's what my feeling is on it it's the fixed gear crits definitely definitely on the cards I know you guys want to see those and whilst you know we can do all these ride around chatty vlogs I feel like, like I said, I feel like events are something that give me something to focus towards. And they're also fun, you know, and I like racing and I like hanging out and I like the social side of it. 
That and I need to do more group rides. That and we should organise a group ride. Anyway, the sun's come back out. I've got about 30 minutes before I have to go pick my kid up from school. So I'm going to carry on and I'll check in with you and have some more waffle about something in a little bit, I'm sure. Right, let's go. So I just took my glasses off to talk to you and literally as soon as I took them off I got like a massive fly that like stabbed me in the eye so I, I just thought I'd tell you that so again I forgot what I was going to talk to you about because I got assaulted by a fly oh you know what we're near we're near that epic climb well epic climb it's not that epic it's just a hella steep climb and I do actually want to go back and tackle it now it's dry because I feel like I could do much better I want to get to the top I think I could get to the top on my mountain bike I do have this whole dilemma with racing you know like I, I Part of me feels like I've had enough of it, <laughs> to be honest. And then a different part of me, like when I get there and I go and do it, I really enjoy it. But I think I haven't done crit racing for so long, like, I don't know, I feel a bit nervous about it. I'd, I'd, Jot, honestly, I'd feel more nervous about going and doing a crit race than racing Mega Avalanche. Anyway, I'm going to stop here near where the sheep reside, where they're not residing, and just say, yeah, sorry about the randomness not really sorry i can take my glasses off now i think i'm like oh it proper hurt actually it got me right there can you see i'm all over the place you know i'm blur 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 you know so apologies for the waffly waffle today i started off with like the intention of talking to you about bike racing and how that like i haven't done it for so long i got really nervous and i'm not really sure if i'm feeling it but then i thought about it and i am feeling it basically you guys are like my therapist you know i should actually pay you guys I'm not sure about doing something. I come and I have a little chat to you and then I work through my problems and then I look forward to it and I go and achieve things, you know? So thanks guys, thanks for being my therapist for the last, well, since, since we started this vlog. I say we because, you know, it's, it's us, we're a team now. You guys are stuck with me. There'll be more randomness in the week. Actually, less randomness. I'm gonna do two videos that are actually about something. I know, amazing, right? So the first one is gonna be the wind space versus the Yodio. Like, I wanna compare them side by side so you guys kind of like, well, can compare them side by side. And then there'll be a review of the Yodio. Two proper videos in a week. Maybe I should space them out. Anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.